Hello everyone, Gary here and welcome to a brand new deck tech video. Today I want to talk about uh, a MacMage version that I was using in a tournament recently. Uh, I actually played against Faramir last week and I won in like a, the Asus Nvidia tournament. And yeah, this is like the, the MacMage version. It's slightly different than the common one. And Mac, MacMage is kind of getting out, uh, out of the meta. Some somewhat like people decide to play other aggro decks instead, like Zoo, for example, or Face Hunter, or yeah, Demon Lock and Mech, Mech Shaman and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think that Mech Mage is still a very viable deck. So, I decided to make a deck tech video about it and just to show you guys the deck that I'm using. And, and if you want to like um just like mix it up a little bit and not just climb with the same decks all the time i can like recommend to play also some mech mage um the list i'm using is i play double clockwork gnome and double cockmaster as one drops i think it's very important to play double clockwork gnome sometimes you people cut the clockwork gnomes but i think it's very core just for the internalers you really need the spare parts and sometimes spare parts can just win you the game like if you play against some some heavier control deck and you get the freeze effect you just get like so much tempo out of it that you win and when you go first you want to have a one drop and just having like a consistent amount of one drops is very important so yeah with playing four one drops you will oftentimes just get it and this is exactly what you want to want when you go first uh, i play one frost ball this is actually very interesting uh, most people play two it's like almost everyone plays too just because they consider it core in my opinion i rather have like the minions i want to have like a consistent amount of minions i want to play as many minions as possible and um, i decided to play two anoyatrons because uh yeah most people play one anoyatron like they cut one anoyatron and i like to play two anoyatrons instead uh, i play the double mech warp double anoyatron mad scientist uh snow checkers uh, i li really like an anoyatron against all the aggro decks in the mirror uh, I like the synergy with Mech Warper, and you play only one Anoyatron, the chance is like, um, much much lower to actually get the Mech Warper into Coin Anoyatron when you just play one. Uh, I think first of all it's not that important, You like uh, most of the time you can't even afford to remove minions on the board. Uh, the way how Mech Rage win, you have to like play a minion on curve every turn or you lose the game. And yeah, this is uh, how this deck is built, and this is how I play. Like, I really don't need that much to one Frostbolt. Um, there are some people that cut Firebolts instead, and I think Firebolt is way too important. It's like an insane amount of burst damage, and it it's like an effective tool to um, to deal with bigger threats. So I decided to cut one Frostbolt, and I'm not regretting it right now. Frostbolt is nice because of the freeze attack against um, weapon classes, but I have the water elemental later more to it. Um, the snow juggers like very core super important cards especially against any weapon class it just gives you so much tempo point and a lot of classes just need the weapons to remove your board effectively to to win but it's not possible when when you have like a snow jugger out double mirror entity this is like super core card it wins you so many matches especially against druid um there were some versions from like Gnimish who was like a very high mech mage player uh, who only play one mirror entity, but this card is just way too important. So uh, I don't think I would cut one mirror entity. Harris Golem, I play double Harris Golem, double Spider Tank, just to have like consistent free drops. One Tinkerton Technician. Uh, I don't play two. That's why you have to play the double Croco. No, just to have enough spare parts. No Yeti, just to have enough spare parts. Like this is the bare minimum of spare parts for the Antoniders. But the like to have the Antoniders uh, plus spare parts play is super rare anyways. So. You don't really need to play the Yetis like most people do. And giving your opponent spare part was for me personally very bad most of the time just because they get like a very good spare part and if you get a bad one you it can lose you the game. I like double fireball just because of the burst damage, like oftentimes you're out of cards and then you require to top deck a fireball to win the game. Double blast match card is just absolutely broken. And it requires minions, so I'd rather also have more minions uh, just to get like the blast mage effect con more consistently than just having like a frost bolt and instead of a frost bolt i play the water elemental i think it's a very very strong four drop oh it already has the shredders and the blast mage but it helps you uh, against like matchups like warrior uh, like in rogue which can be very really difficult uh, just to have like the additional freeze and this card is very difficult to to be removed i really like water elementals 
And instead of a Zoodrex, I like to play Blinktron 3000 just because it gives you like additional burst damage. And most of the time you don't care if your opponent gets a weapon because you freeze them, you kill their weapon with your Blinktron or you don't care about the face damage they take because they will just lose because of your face damage. Uh, and tonight is in Dr. Boom. I don't play Ragnaros. I think it's too slow. It's only good against um, Freeze Mages. Most people don't play Freeze Mage right now, so this is the list I'm losing. <laughs> I'm losing. I'm, I'm using, and I really like it. And I'm also gonna show you some games 